Hi my friends, today I'm going to show you how to make, you know, how to grill a lovely medium red steak and of course medium steak. So sit back, relax and enjoy my friends, thank you very much. So now, I'm going to show you quickly how to grill your perfect steak. So my friends, I already made um, garlic butter. And of course, I made green tomatoes. So you can check out my video, check out the card, and you find how I made green tomatoes and of course, garlic butter. So I made the garlic and parsley compound butter. Really nice, check out, amazing recipe, check it out, and learn how to make it, my friends. And of course, we're gonna enjoy that with our steak. So I'll be using a lovely griddle pan to make a lovely steak. So I'm gonna heat up this pan. When you're making steak, you want your pan nice and hot. So I'm gonna heat that straight away. So my friends, once it's nice and hot, I'm gonna pop my steak right in there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly you know, uh, pop the spices on my steak. Of course, what I need is just salt and pepper, and of course, olive oil and garlic puree. So, what I'm gonna do now, my friends, I'm gonna quickly, you know, I want to pop my garlic puree on my lovely steak. So, quickly, what I'm gonna do. My pan is nice and hot, so I'm going to grab a lovely plate right here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly open my steak straight away. So, I have two steaks, so I will make it. medium and the medium red. So as a steak one and two. So I have two steaks. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grill my steak straight away so I'm gonna pop my olive oil on my lovely steak so I have olive oil I'm gonna drizzle olive oil quickly I'm gonna flip the flip that over I want to drizzle olive oil on both sides of course, now I have olive oil in me. Next, I'm gonna quickly, you know, pop in a little bit of sea salt. I love using sea salt, so I'm gonna flip that over again on both sides. Lovely. Yeah. That's it for the salt. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly pop black pepper straight away. And I'm gonna flip that again on both sides quickly. So, I have salt and black pepper, olive oil. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna pop in my garlic puree straight away. So I need garlic puree. So I'm gonna flip that over, lovely. 
I love garlic puree. So I have garlic puree on my steak. Look at that. Amazing, lovely. So now my friends, my pan is nice and hot. And of course, that's the garlic puree is ready. So my pan is nice and hot. So what I need again is um, time. So I'm gonna quickly pop my time there. So, lovely. I'm gonna flip that over and pop time on the other one as well. Lovely. So now, my friends, I have marinated my lovely meat. So that's the marinade. So now, my friends, I'm gonna quickly, you know, grill that straight away. And I'm gonna show you uh, garlic butter and of course the great tomatoes I made just about 30 minutes ago so my friends now I'm gonna show you how to make a lovely stick so this pan is nice and hot this is a griddle pan so I'm gonna set my timer quickly So when you're making a uh, medium and medium rare, you need about two to three minutes. So I'll be right back, my friend. Thank you very much. So now, uh, this is nice and hot now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the steak, you can hear that, it's nice and hot, so now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly set my timer for 2-3 minutes. I need to wash my hand. So we need two to three minutes. So, but it's almost one minute now. So I'm gonna set it for two minutes. Uh, You said that, so I need two minutes now. So after two minutes, my friends, I'm gonna flip that over straight away, nice and easy, lovely. Remember, my friends, we want it uh, about. So I'm gonna probe it. We need about 63 degrees. Uh, once it's over 63, that's all right. So we need 63 degrees for the medium rare. That's the you know hot holding temperature for the hot holding temperature of food in the UK is 63 degrees and above. Anything less than 63 degrees is harmful to the body. 
So I'm going to probe it to CC3. I want to see CC3 that's medium red. Then, my friends, medium is about 70 and 71 degrees Celsius. So I have one minute more, and I'm going to flip the lovely steak over. We want it pink inside, so I'm going to show you how to raise the steak and how to plate it. So I'm going to be using garlic butter and, of course, our green tomatoes. So you can see the steak is almost cooking. So two to three minutes on both sides. You don't want to check on it too much, but if you're a professional, you're never going to make a mistake. But if you want it well done, it's about five minutes on both sides. So I have 24 seconds more, so I'm going to flip the steak over. Remember, you want your um, uh, pan nice and hot. Once it's nice and hot, no worries, my friends. So now, my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly flip that over. I have six seconds more. Now, I'm going to flip that over. Straight away, you can see that. Lovely. It's nice and hot. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. So I'm going to set that for two minutes. Amazing. Lovely. What I'm talking about, you want it pink inside. Lovely steak. Lovely. You can see it's pink inside. It's not well done. You're making your well done steak. Of course, my friends, you need to cook it on both sides for five minutes. Four to five minutes on both sides. And of course, the temperature is going to be about 75 degrees on the bowl. But if you're making it medium rare, you cook for two minutes on both sides. Two minutes of you know, almost two minutes on both sides and you get your medium rare steak. What you want on medium is two to three minutes on both sides. But remember my friends, your pan needs to be nice and hot. Nice and hot pan, and of course, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna turn my hob off. I'm gonna switch up my hob. I turned that off already. So I got 33 seconds more. So, once my steak is ready, I'm going to rest it over here. And of course, I'm going to show you how it came out. And of course, I'm going to plate one for you to see. And I'm going to pour my garlic butter. And of course, I'm going to pour my lovely tomato you know, by inside. So I have, you know, that's for two minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear that now, and of course, I'm gonna rest my steak straight away. So I'm gonna use my tongs, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to check it now, you can see, that's what we call medium red steak. So I'm going to pop that on the plate straight away. When you make your steak, you need to allow that to rest. So all the juices, you're going to run all the juices out. I can use that one, that's alright. So you can see it's already, you know. So you can see the steak. I'm gonna show you that it's pink inside. So that's the medium and medium red. So I'm gonna rest my steak. So I'll, I'll rest that. I'll leave that to rest. And I'm gonna show you the garlic butter I made straight away. 
Look at that, amazing. This is the medium rare steak I'm talking about. The medium steak, medium rare is two minutes on both sides. And medium rare is two to three minutes on both sides. So I'll leave that to rest. And of course, I'm gonna show you my garlic butter. You know, and of course, you can see, nice and amazing. So I'm gonna show you spink inside. I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my knife and I'm gonna show you it's still pink inside. So now I'm gonna leave that up. So I'm gonna come close to the camera. So I'm gonna show you the inside. You can see is pink inside and that's what that's what we call the medium rare that's what we call the medium steak but if it's well done it's not gonna be pink it's not gonna be pink inside and of course if it's a medium rare it's still gonna be pink so these are medium steak so I'll leave that to rest and of course I'm gonna show you how to place it so we want the blood and the juices to run out so we'll leave that now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab my salad so i'm gonna wash my salad first i need my salad So we leave that to rest for about three minutes. But of course, while it's resting, I leave it in a nice and warm place. Nice and warm. I'm gonna keep it, you know, wash that straight away. Lovely. So I'll quickly wash that. That's the salad. You can use watercress or whatever salad you like. So that's a mixed salad, lovely. So I'm washing that now straight away. Lovely salad. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly, you know, up my salad, I'm going to plate my steak straight away. So before then, I'm going to slice my lovely butter, garlic butter straight away. So my friends, that's the garlic butter I made earlier on. So I made this garlic butter, so I'm gonna slide that now. So my friends, that's the garlic butter. So my friends, that's the garlic and pasta compound butter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly plate my steak now, straight away. And I'm gonna pop my tomatoes on it as well. So now, I have a plate right here. So what I'm gonna do, my steak is ready. 
So I'm gonna pop my tomatoes straight away. You can see tomatoes in nice and hot. That's the one I made earlier on. I'm gonna pop my tomatoes right there. Lovely. Then my friends, I'm gonna pop my salad just uh, that's the tomatoes, do it like that. Then I'm gonna pop salad by the side. You can sprinkle house dressing, you know, if you like. But that's alright, look at that, amazing. Now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop my lovely medium red steak. Right here. Amazing, lovely. And now my friends, you can see all the juices from the steak. That's why I need to allow that to rest. Now, my friends, I'm going to pop my lovely garlic butter on that. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. So now, my friends, I'm going to try that straight away. So, my friends, you can see I made these great tomatoes earlier on. So remember to check the card, you'll find how I made these lovely great tomatoes. And of course, check out the card again and you find how I made this lovely garlic and parsley compound butter. And of course, my friends, this is a lovely steak. And look at the salad right there so now my friends i'm gonna try that now i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you again that it's pink inside so my friends what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you you can see it is pink inside look at that it's still pink inside not very pink but pink that is called medium but if it's very pink it is rare or medium red but if it's not pink at all, it is called well done. So my friends, you can see my lovely garlic butter. And of course it sticks. I'm going to try that now straight away. Lovely. And of course, Salad. Amazing. And of course, that one, the grilled tomato. My friends. You cannot enjoy your steak without this. Enjoy your steak with your green tomatoes and of course your salad and garlic butter. It goes very well with steak. To my friends, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and of course turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. Check out my upload. This is a live stream. So the video is gonna upload, you know, 
in just a matter of, of minutes. So check it on my playlist. You can check my live stream playlist and you can rewatch this video and how I made this lovely steak and of course how I made the garlic and pasta compound butter and of course how I made the great tomatoes. So if this is your first time watching my lovely video, please share, like and subscribe and of course turn on the bell so you never miss any of them. My name is Francis and this is Cuckoo Chef Francis live on YouTube making it real on YouTube. I'll see you next time my friends. So my next live stream I'm going to be making a lovely stuffed tomatoes. So it's going to be really amazing. I'm going to pop in my mushroom and of course you know what I mean my friends. Lovely stuffed tomatoes. So I'm going to use my vine tomatoes as well. Lovely. See you next time my friends. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers.